It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. One week after Morrison's brought out their beer and I said Tesco were on the back foot and Mozza beers on Instagram have uh, 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 pulled Domo beers pants down uh, with the quality of beer that Morrison's just put in. Tesco have hit back. They've hit back straight away. Uh, within six days of each other, really, they put out two fantastic ranges of beer. Um, they look fantastic. Anyway, I've had the Morrison's beers. They were, a lot of them were really, really good. Um, and now it's Tesco's turn. They're looking good. They are looking good. So I'm going to start off with two beers that I've not been able to get to before. So basically, the story goes, to get all of these beers today, I've travelled to three different Tesco stores in the area and all three stores had different beers out. What's that all about? What's that all about? So went to the three stores, I managed to get, well I'm missing three beers, I'm missing one beer from Northern Monk and I'm missing two beers from North Brewing Company. So I'm going to start off with two of the beers that I've not been able to get hold of before but they're not new new, they've been out a few months. This is Camden Off Menu IPA, India Pale Ale, and this one's coming in at 5.8% ABV. So I'm going to be really quick, quick with that one. This one, now I very rarely go all the way out to Whitchurch, to the massive, massive Tesco's out in Whitchurch on, on the outskirts of Cardiff. Long, long way away. Um, I should have gone there before really because I've never been able to get hold of the Buxton Brewery Storm Shadow Imperial Stout that came out about two months ago. I went out there, there it was on the shelf. And this is a 8.5% ABV Imperial Stout at £3.50 a can. The small cans are all kind of four for six. So, new beer. New beer. This had a new sign on it, and this was in uh, our little Panath Tesco. Blue Moon Mango Wheat, 5.4% ABV, so a new bottled beer. And then moving into the cans. North Bridge Mountain IBA, Mountain IPA by Thornbridge and North Brewing Company. It's a collaboration. It was brewed at North, oh, brewed at Thornbridge. And it's a collaboration with, with North. Yeah, it's got to be North, haven't it? Um, our collaboration with North Brewing Co. is inspired by both West Coast bitterness and East Coast softness. This mountain IPA takes the middle ground between the two ubiquitous IPA styles. And that's coming in, yes, yeah, 7.2% ABV. So looking, looking forward to that one in a 440 milliliter can. That was IPA. Now, some of you asked me last week, could I go through... Um, the receipts and, and give the prices. Now that one um, I'm sure I picked that one up oh, Wrong receipt wrong. I think it was three pound fifty that one um, Brewdog layer cake that's on there That was Three pounds, three pounds for that one. Brewdog layer cake. That looks really good. If you have a look at some of the Instagram photos on this beer, it's laying in marshmallows. It looks absolutely terrific. Um, have your cake and drink it. A marshmallow and chocolate stout. And there's no real. The writing is really small on, on that can. It's almost impossible to read. And that's seven percent ABV. Next up, collaboration between Salt and Pomona Island, and it's their Shoop New England IPA, 6.4% ABV. Should be really good. So all of these beers are exclusive to Tesco. Apart from this one, <laughs> this is a boxed beer. You know the boxes, you can buy two boxes of beer, four cans in each box and they come to nine pounds works out about one pound twelve a can well this is Brewdog's new boxed four boxed can of, of beers and this is the jagged edge 
So incidentally, the other box I bought was um, Jaipur, because I don't think I've ever had Jaipur in a can. So it's described as a spiky India Pale Ale at 5.1% ABV. So this is available in <coughs> Morrison's and Tesco. Now I've heard of these, Gypsy Hill Hepcat Session IPA. It's new to Tesco, but it's not necessarily a new beer. 330 milliliter, comes in at four for six, still below five degrees. And yeah, it looks pretty good. I quite like a Session IPA. I could, it's 26 degrees today. So I was racing around these three Tesco's, 26 degrees in the car, boiling hot. Windows down, you know. Um, another beer from Gypsy Hill is their Ranger Pale Ale, 4.2% ABV. And again, um, not a new beer from Gypsy Hill, but a new beer for Tesco. <clears throat> Next up, this looks really good. Vocation and Sure Shot, and it's their 15 mile round trip double IPA. I like the Vocation beers in Tesco, they're really, they've been pretty decent, pretty decent stuff. A well-travelled double IPA brewed with a trio of outstanding hop varieties, Galaxy, Mosaic and Citra, made in collaboration with Sure Shot, a brand new venture by brewing legend James Campbell. Definitely worth the journey. There we go, that looks pretty good. 8% ABV. 440ml can. Magic Rock. I haven't got a Magic Rock beer for... Oh, must be a month or so. What are the odds? Double dry hopped, double IPA, 8.3% ABV. And that's going to be, that's going to be £3.50 a can. Basically, the lady came out, a really nice lady. Um, no, some of the beers are on the, I, I was missing a few. And I said to the lady in Panas, who's working the beer aisle, I said, have you got any more of these beers? She said, well, we got a load out the back. Let me bring the cage out for you. So she brought the cage out. None of them were on the shelf. And some of them were not even going through on the till. So really, really nice of her um, to do that. <coughs> Next one, Merck Life Balance Hazy Pale Ale, 5% ABV by Magic Rock. I didn't... What are the odds? Did I read it out? Oh, there's nothing really to read, only the... Oh, Magic Rock don't even put the hops in the yeast anymore. Barley, wheat, oats. They, they, they've stopped writing down the hops that they put in the beer and, and they've done the same here on this one, which is a 5% ABV hazy pale ale. But I liked, I've always liked the branding on Magic Rock. It definitely kind of stands out. You can definitely tell that they're both Magic Rock beers. From a distance. Last but not least. As you all know, if you watch my channel regularly, I've never really found London Beer Factory to be much good, in all honesty. Some of the beers have been just, just not great. They've just not quite been there. Um, I'm hoping this Sia Tiramisu Pastry Stout at 9.2% ABV does the business. I'm really, really hoping that this can be finally a beer from London Beer Factory, which I like. Um, Zia. Oh, progressive and independent beer crafted in southeast London. Zia, a decadent stout modelled after the famed Italian dessert. Luscious mocha coffee aromas rise straight from the glass. Drinking a velvety creamy body is, su is supported by rich roasted barley, backed by adjunct sweetness and roasty chocolate malts. A digesto dessert and coffee in one. That looks really good. Oh, and they've got the Seba British Independent Craft Brewery badge there on the side of their can. So, tell me what you think. The beers will be up as soon as possible. 
if I have time this evening to review some of these beers. So these beers launched September the 14th, 2020. Um, that's Monday, that was today. Raced round three Tesco's to get all these beers out for you. As I said, I missed two North beers. It was a North, it was like a lime green can, 440ml, I missed it. Um, could Just couldn't get it, but I'll find it in the next few days, weeks, we'll find the beer. There was also another little white can, a 330ml can from uh, North that I couldn't get hold of. And there was the Northern Monk. There was a Northern Monk beer as well that we missed. And I think there might have been a vocation that was something like 9.2% ABV, a triple IPA. But it's unclear if that beer was actually part of the new beer range that has that has launched into, into Tesco. So yeah, I'll I'll bung all these beers in the fridge now, cool them down. Um, I'm gonna make some, first of all, first thing I'm gonna do is make a cup of coffee. Have a cup of coffee, watch, make some tea for the wife and kids after chasing around Tesco's all day. Um, wash, I'm gonna wash the Grand Prix and then I'm gonna come out in the kitchen and review a couple of these beers and hopefully have some out for you tomorrow morning. Fingers crossed. Thank you also very much for watching. Um, I hope these beers are really good. I really do because I think the competition between the supermarkets now is hotting up all of the time. There's a rumour now that even Sainsbury's are getting involved in this whole craft beer scene. Wouldn't surprise me whatsoever. That would be three of the big four supermarkets getting really involved. Asda! As that have been around for a while with their craft beers, but they don't seem to launch like like they do with, with Tesco's and Morrison's. They seem to make a bit of fanfare. The two supermarkets, Tesco and Morrison's, on Instagram. They seem to make a bit of a fuss on Instagram and everyone goes chasing after these beers. As does don't do it. I wish they would. I wish they would. I wish they had a little beer team there that could do that. And also, um, but I, it sounds like Sainsbury's are uh, just watching what's going on in the supermarket beer situation. I think that they might jump on the bandwagon in a big way. But thanks for watching. Beers will be on soon. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.